The next section in the Stock Pitch Report is the competitive analysis, or as we like to call, or Warren Buffett likes to call, the economic moat of the business. So the first thing you need to say is, what is the company's market share? And market share is, in the total pie of, of their business, how much of the market is theirs? So if it's, if it's Apple, of the global smartphone market, how much market share does Apple have? Is it 30%? 50% and so identify what the industry is, who the key competitors are, and what the market share is of your business. Um, when you think about market share, then you think about the economic moat. So what is it that makes a moat around a business or what makes this company have a competitive advantage that is different than competitors? Um, we know from unit three what makes a good business is there's many economic moats. It could be brand, it could be a low cost moat, it could be a distribution or a route density, it could be a network effect moat like Google or Facebook, or it could be a high switching cost moat like a bank where it is a lot of pain to change from one bank to another. So what is the moat? And a company may have more than one moat. So it may have a primary moat and then a secondary moat. What is the competitive advantage of this business? And then the next analysis is the Porter's Five Forces analysis. And here, in your stock pitch report template, you can double click on, on the Porter's Five Forces diagram and give a, give a number one through five of, of five being the strongest and one being the weakest of what is the power of their customers? So do their customers have a lot of bargaining power over them? What is the power of their suppliers? Do their suppliers have a lot of bargaining power over them? What are the barriers to entry? How difficult is it for a new competitor to start a business and compete with them? What are the threats of substitutes? So if it's Coca-Cola, what is the threat that carbonated beverages may not be as popular in the future? What are the substitutes that could threaten this business, and not just this year, but five years from now, 10 years from now, and then next, what is the competitive rivalry? How aggressive are the competitors? Is this an industry where there's basically two players and it's not very competitive, which is what we call an oligopoly? Or is this a highly fragmented competitive industry like the restaurants business, where there's hundreds of competitors all trying to compete every night for, for uh, customers' wallet share? And so, so those are the Porter's Five Forces. I hope this helps describe what we're looking for in the competitive position. It's what is the market share? What is the economic moat? And then going through the Porter's Five Forces will help you illustrate what is the company's strength and what is their competitive advantage.